Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today, I'm going to guide you to Crescent Lake. So I'm going to get in the ship, and we're going to sail to the southern tip of the peninsula to the south. So that's where we're going to go. Okay, there it is. Now you want to keep sailing south until the lowest tip of the peninsula is at the very top of the screen. Like that. And then just uh, go straight west. You'll find a port there to dock at. Okay, now that we're here, um, don't be afraid to use your magic. The enemies are a little tough for your current level development, so um, just be careful, but um, it should be all right. Okay, here are some trolls. Um, they are weak to fire, so uh, they do have a lot of HP. I think it's over 200, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. It's a, it's a lot of HP, so... You know, take them out one at a time. Just make sure you get your fire spells going. Good job. What the hell are they doing anyway? They look like they got a migraine headache going or something. Of course, if I looked like that, I'd probably be doing that too. And now just go all out with the physical attacks. Oh, we got pretty lucky there. These guys can hit pretty hard sometimes. All right, good experience in gold too. So now you want to go around the southern edge of the lake, walk around it clockwise. And just some cobras and scorpions, nothing hard there. And we made it. All right. Uh, item shop doesn't sell anything new there. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff at the armor shop, so let's take a look there. Okay, now uh, there's some minor upgrades for the fighter. Uh, like you want to get, um, let's see, a silver shield. Uh, I'm just going to give it to Yang so that, well, yeah, I guess I'll sell my equipment first. Sell everything except his uh, body armor there because you're going to get the silver equivalent of them, which is slightly better. Now, a couple of these you actually get, uh, you can actually find them in uh, upcoming areas, but uh, as before, I mean, they're so deep into the caves that you'll find them at, that, I mean, I'd, I'd rather just buy them now and get it out of the way. Also, the buckler is a type of shield that the red mage can actually equip. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get that. one of the only shields that he can actually equip, so we're going to uh, make sure he has that there. There we go. The nice thing about silver equipment is it's pretty li relatively light. I mean, it's not as light as a, a bracelet, but it's lighter than, like, iron equipment and things like that. So, and also uh, sell that extra bracelet there. Okay, so now we're going to head up here. Now the weapon shop also, uh, th that sells silver weapons as well. This guy's asleep apparently, but he's still walking. He must be tossing and turning, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, the weapon shop sells silver weapons like uh, the silver axe, uh, silver knife, silver sword, things like that. Um, the, sil uh, the silver axe is, again, slightly pow more powerful than the silver sword, but uh, it's like comparing the short sword to the hand axe, you know. I mean, the fighter, uh, let's take a look at his uh, hit percentage. He's not that far off from uh, hitting 64 uh, hit percentage. So in a couple levels, you know, uh, the silver sword will be dealing three hits per round. So um, so I'm just going to skip on the silver axe since he's the only one who can equip that for now anyway. So, and uh, while I'm here, let's make a pit stop at the inn just to restore my spell charges that I used. A little pricey, but you have the gold, so that's okay. Now I'll just head up here. There's the clinic to the right. 
All right. And uh, these uh, magic chaps here, they're for level six spells, but we're not gonna have those for several levels. So just I'll save the analysis on that for later. And there are the sages, just as uh, we were told earlier. Lucan is among them as well. So they're gonna give us some useful information here, I hope. Okay, that's wonderful. Oh, so that's what those orbs are for. I thought they were just there for decoration. That's wonderful. Okay, so this is what we gotta do. We gotta locate the fiends and then place the orb on the altar that is behind them and we restore the light to the orb. That's how we do it. Um, since we're, we've been somewhat directed to find the fiend of the earth, that's uh, where we're gonna go after next. Great, lovely history lesson. Wonderful. Duh. That's nice. I have to keep that in mind. So when we restore our light to the Earth Orb, we want to come back here, talk to these guys again. Uh, not all of them. I think only one of them does something new, but... Well, one of them is Luke. Here he is. Okay. So that's uh, who you talk to there. And uh, we know what to do now. We got to go to the Earth Cave and restore light to the Earth Orb. So um, I'm going to head back to Melman then. I will uh, meet you back there. Okay. Now we'll head west and then south at the next intersection to uh, the Earth Cave. Keep going west now. Now to the west is the Titan's Tunnel, but there's nothing we can do there, so we're just going to head south to the Earth Cave, and then to the east soon. And there it is, the Earth Cave. There are just a lot of irritating undead monsters along the way there, so let's see, uh, one tenth ought to do. And there we go. Let's take a look at what we got here. Now, the Earth Cave starts out with all these pathways that you can take. Most of them lead to dead ends. The one to the right, straight to the right, is actually the one that leads to the staircase, but we want to get some treasure in the dead ends. Uh, the one to the left there actually leads to a place called the Hall of Giants. Uh, what that is, is, is a lot of fixed encounter points there where you would run into an enemy called a giant. Um, they're essentially tougher ogres. Um, they have like two... 20 to 40 HP, something like that, and they give almost 900 gold uh, for each one that you kill. So it's a good way of getting some gold because they're fixed encounter points. So you run one right, run into one right after the other, guaranteed to get at least one giant. It's a decent way of doing that. Um, the other paths will lead to uh, treasure chests that we're going to go after, and then after each time we return to the entrance. So you really want to hold off on using your magic on this floor because you'll be able to leave very quickly and use a tent to restore your HP. So there's really no point. Um, you're also going to run into a lot of undead monsters later on. So make sure you save your uh, fire two spell or level three spell charges for the red mage. And also try to save your white mage's spell charges for harm and harm two. Um, but only use harm two if your red mage is stunned. So um, that's it for the preparations for this area. And uh, I'm out of time. So... Uh, that's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.